Good day. Welcome to Monday, January 25th, 2021. Does it seem like it's been longer to go than a month that was Christmas Day? <laughs> to me it does. It always does, I guess. It seems like it's so much longer. Hope things are going decent for you. I'm glad that we've got the sun is getting a little warmer and since we had that snow it's been nice that it's been scraped off and and it's been kind of um, warming up the ground and of course it wasn't that cold when when it fell either so we're thankful for that yesterday was our annual meeting and once again just want to thank all of you for all that you do for our saviors and the Huron community and beyond and and then a uh, I announced that um, February 21st, I invited you to celebrate my 40th anniversary of ordination. And it's like, wow, 40 years, yeah, right. And anyway, um, just Bishop Costanza is planning to be with us in person. Of course, it depends on the weather and if we have another uptick in COVID, it's gonna change things too for us. But. But we'll hopefully be able to do that in now less than a month. And so just thank you for all of your support and, and um, the work that we can do together. Um, I, I think of those 40 years and now, you know, so when you start out being a pastor, it's just so challenging. And, and it's like all of this stuff is placed in your hands and this is expected of you, that's expected of you. And now that I've got 40 years under my belt, it seems like there's so many things that I do just by instinct and, and by what I've done before and what's built, developed as being the most comfortable for me. And, you know, when we look to Scripture, I think that that's one of the things, you know, and as we continue on in the midst of this pandemic, and now some more scary things about the new strains that are coming in and stuff, and it's like, oh my. And all I can say, we need to turn to God for God's word. Um, the psalm that was for yesterday, Psalm 62, I did not read it in worship, but it was on the online one. Um, and it's, it goes like this. For God alone, I wait in silence. Truly my hope is in God. God alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold so that I shall never be shaken. In God is my deliverance and my honor. God is my strong rock and my refuge. Put your trust in God always, O people. Pour out your hearts before the one who is our refuge. Those of high degree are but a fleeting breath. Those of low estate just cannot be trusted. Placed on the scales together, they weigh even less than a breath. Put no trust in extortion. In robbery, take no empty pride. Through well, the wealth increase, set not your heart upon it. God has spoken once, twice I have heard it, that power belongs to God. Steadfast love belongs to you, O Lord for you repay all according to their deeds. And see, when there isn't time to think, who is it that we go to? I think of uh, taking a deep breath and, and just um, turning to God and asking God, please help me through this, whatever it is, whenever I'm, and every time I meet something with somebody else, it's a new experience for them. It's a new experience for me. So I ask God to calm me down, help me to help this person as best as you call me to do it. And I encourage you, all of us as God's people, we are of the priesthood of all believers. And we know that God's blessings, hope, and love continues to surround us. And when there isn't time to think, think of God. May that be the first, first thing that comes to mind. Mine has had to be, along with a deep breath, <laughs> since God is my breath. And I'd like to share with you a prayer that is entitled, When There Isn't Time to Think by Her Brokering and Surprise Me, Jesus. Lord, 
There are so many things I do without thinking. There are the automatic things that, all, that must be done then there, when there isn't time to think. There are the habits, the involuntary acts of my life. I have no control over some habits. They are placed into me in birth, and there are, they are part of the age-long system that keeps me alive. Some are actions I have learned through the years of my life. I am thankful for the many things that go in and around me, about which I need not think or worry. They are really your gift. I think about them now to thank you, and as I go on living, I thank you for them even when I do not think about them, Jesus. And Lord, we pray that you will continue to walk with us as we're in the midst of this pandemic. Amid all the turmoil and changes in our world, your love is steadfast. Your strength never fails. In our times of danger and trouble, be to us a sure guardian, a rock of defense. We pray for the leaders of our nation. Guide them with your wisdom. Comfort those who are in distress. And grant us courage and hope to face the future. And Lord, all who are ill or in, and, and or in need of your healing hand, we pray that it rest upon them, that they may rest assured of your uh, healing strength being abiding with them. And Lord, now as we continue on in our day, we pray that you um, continue to walk with us. Anything else that you see that we need, grant us the through the prayer your Son taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And just to let you know, we're doing our newsletter this week and we'll be um, including some of the things from the annual meeting. Pretty much everything that's in it is what got passed. There was nothing, nothing really extraordinary or new, but please, um, if you have any questions about anything, please be sure to call us. So now God's blessings, peace, hope, love, courage, and encouragement continue to rest upon you in your day. Thank you for your time. Bye for now.